So I think this is the video that I've been putting off for quite a while now. I've been wanting to come back to YouTube because it's my passion and because I want to kind of upload on YouTube again. I feel like it's going to be good for my healing journey and it's going to be good for my life going forward. This video has been something that I've been putting off due to the fact that over the last few months I've been going through one of the hardest, most painful situations in my life that, you know, was unexpected. It's something that, you know, I didn't know it was going to happen. I didn't know it was coming. Without getting too upset in this video, I think that's something that I want to address because I, I feel like I have to. I owe it to you guys because, you know, I've always filmed YouTube videos. I've always tried to be raw and honest and open on camera. And I feel like it's time where now I want to focus more on my hobbies, focus more on things that I love and more on my passion. So, which is hence why I want to upload this YouTube video. Just bear with me, guys, because I'm still nowhere near healed and I'm still on my healing journey. And, you know, it's still upsetting to be able to sit here and sit with my feelings and express them to you guys. So just bear with me. I want this video to be a positive rather than a negative because coming back to YouTube is my passion and it's my hobby. So I want it to be a positive rather than a negative. But the last few months, I've been going through a very painful breakup with my ex-fiance. For those of you guys who have followed me on my Instagram and been a part of my journey, you know that I am a dad of two beautiful children, Gravity and Wolf, my daughter and my son. I was engaged and back to February this year, myself and my ex-fiance, we split up and we decided to depart ways, which hasn't been easy for me and it hasn't been easy for her either, I'm, I'm sure of that. You know, over the last few months, I've been pushed into the most deepest of darkest of places. I've had a tremendous, you know, challenge of experiencing, you know, grief and experiencing loss. Because when you break up with someone and you love them truly, it is a loss. When people come into your life and you form an attachment and you form a bond and a connection and you feel unconditional love, when they're gone, it is a loss and it is a grief and it is one of the most painful things to live with and understand. I'm only 23 years of age and this has been one of the most hardest and challenging experiences I've ever felt in my life, purely because of the fact that I'm still so deeply in love with my ex. And we split up back in February this year and it's been about five months now since after the breakup. It's still challenging it's every single day to be able to live a life, a new life that I never thought would be, if that makes sense. You know, being in a relationship with my ex fiance, this sort of life, that I dreamed of, that I created, having two children and now being here, heartbroken, my heart shattered in pieces. Every day when I wake up, I have a feeling of heavy anxiety on my chest. I have a pain, I have a loss, you know, I have a grief. And these past few months, I've been going through an insane transformation with my spirituality and with my realizations of many things. And, you know, I've been having a spiritual awakening in these past few months. So things are challenging, but after this breakup, you know, I've been using a break. I've been using this breakup as sort of a reset mode in my life, a reset mode in myself. Things that I realized I was doing, mistakes that I realized I was making. I've used this as a sort of formation to be able to reshape my life for the better and become the best version of me for myself and my children. I'm still healing and I'm nowhere near being fully healed. And I feel like that's something that a lot of us don't understand is that healing is a consistent journey. Healing is something that we've been doing our entire lives. When we broke our arm when we was age 10, when we had our first breakup, when we had our first loss, when we had our first painful experience at school, we was always healing no matter what. We've been healing our whole lives even if you haven't known it. And I feel like healing is a consistent journey that we do from when we're a baby, when we're a teenager, right into our adult life, until we're old and until we eventually die. I feel like a healing, healing is a consistent journey of self-growth, of self-regulation, emotional regulation and learning new things about ourselves. I feel like healing is a part of our journey consistently and it's something that is forever happening in our lives. Whether that's fixing childhood trauma, it's fixing a breakup, it's fixing a divorce, it's fixing a loss, it's fixing it's fixing a passing of something that has happened in your life. A lot of people think that healing is just loving yourself. And to me, it's more than that. It is about loving yourself and being able to be comfortable with yourself and being alone, comfortable with being alone within yourself and your mind. But also for me, I feel like it's something that is deeper than that. And for me, this breakup, this journey so far has helped me and pushed me to discover and dig deep into trauma. And I feel like whether that's with um, you know, your caregivers, your parents, you know, whether that's with family or it's with, it's with school or it's with, you know, friendship, relationships, where trauma is important that is fixed because if it's not and we run away from it or we avoid it, in scenarios in our life it can occur where 
it cannot bring positive situations. And I feel like that's something that happened in my relationship. I regret a lot of things that I've done in my relationship since the breakup. Things that escalated to the breakup. As painful it is to say this, guys, I've had time to regulate. I've had time to realize this, that sometimes it is too late to be able to be with the someone that you truly love and want to be with. It's not too late to have growth in yourself and to fix these wounds, to fix these traumas. And I feel like things that I experienced during my childhood and things that I saw and lived with without going into too much detail because I, again, one thing I've been focused on a lot lately is becoming a monk. I'm having this monk mindset and having a positive attitude and about letting go and about having forgiveness. I think if we hold anger with people, if we hold anger on someone or on our parents or on our ex-partners or on our friends, I feel like if we hold anger, it only brings more of a negative, it only brings more of negative feelings and emotions and it actually attracts more negativity. So I've been trying to forgive but not want anything from it and I think that's a powerful thing transformational forgiveness is powerful it's about forgiving but not wanting anything from anyone and or that someone and for me in this situation I have forgived the people that I feel like have impacted this trauma in my life but I'm still repairing I'm still having growth and I've decided to in order for myself to have the best healing journey possible after this breakup, being alone is the best for me. It's been hard to be alone and it's been hard. To, that's the hardest thing about this situation after the break is that my whole life I've had people around me and I've never been comfortable with being alone. It's hard to accept that some people come into your life and you're supposed to meet them. You're supposed to, you know, be with them. But some people come into your life and leave a permanent footprint that is implanted in your heart and in your mind for the rest of your life. Some people come and some people depart and they're here to teach us lessons and they're here to teach us sometimes painful things but sometimes things that we need to learn about ourselves in order to grow and become the best versions of us. And I feel like my ex-fiance is someone that I truly love still deep down. And when you have these feelings with someone, they don't just go away and you can't just forget and move on. And these people come and they leave a permanent footprint in your life. And it's painful to accept that sometimes that these people, they're not your forever and they won't be with you for the rest of your life, even that you wanted them to. And you know, they are your people. It's hard to accept that sometimes they're here to teach us valuable lessons and here to be a part of our journey temporarily and then they leave. And I feel like that's been the hardest thing about all of this situation for myself. Now, starting this new life, that still upsets me now, is understanding letting go, understanding forgiveness, understanding that I still have these deep implanted feelings in my heart and I have these wounds now from this shattered heart, but they are my battle scars and I'm using them as my battle scars, you know, now, and I'm using them as my purpose. Pain can equal your purpose. Suffering, you, we have the power to end suffering. Pain can be our purpose. And I'm using this breakup to reset my life in every aspect of it. I'm using it to reset my life spiritually, mentally. I'm using it to reset it physically, financially. In everything that I do, I've been using it, trying to make it a positive rather than a negative outcome. It's not easy. Every day is nothing new for me. I wake up with this pain and I'm currently going through legal and court orders right now because I'm unable to see my children due to circumstances that is involving me and my ex-partner that I can't go into for obvious legal reasons and to protect my privacy and, and my ex-fiance's privacy. But yeah, I haven't seen my kids in almost two months now and the pain of not seeing them is indescribable. Like I just want to hold my daughter again. I miss her. You know, I miss my son, I miss, you know, cuddles with them, I miss connecting with them, I miss seeing them grow up and educated in this world, you know, I miss, you know, days at a farm with them, I miss seeing them develop and have growth and having freedom to be who they truly are in this world. And that's the way I parent, you know, with my ex fiance was gentle parenting, it was positive parenting, you know, parenting without shame, without guilt and without, you know, judgment or without punishment, you know, it was about having positive consequences and positive outcomes of situations with them and about letting them be free in the world to learn things for themselves to educate themselves you know and have freedom to be who they truly are their true selves just like I always say be yourself it was about them being themselves and um, this situation I don't know when I'm going to see my kids again you know as I said I just want to hold my daughter in my hands again I just want to hold my son on my shoulders again and you know yeah that's been the hardest thing as well is that people 
a breakup is already hard enough, but when there's kids involved and there's deep love involved, it's always harder than 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 people make out it is. People say it's easy and it's really not. And I feel like I'm happy I made this video to be honest with you and to show you, you know, the pain behind what my last few months of my life has been like. And I still don't know how long it's gonna be, but I'm healing, I'm trying to push on and I'm trying to now create a new life and live this life that I've been, I would say not forced, but forced to kind of take up on for now. I'm still fighting for my kids and it gives me a drive, it gives me a motivation, it gives me a, a, a meaning. Because without them, you know, my life, when the breakup first happened, my life felt meaningless and you know it did make me suicidal I did have to you know seek therapy not just for wanting to change you know sort of the way I act, respond to situations but fix my trauma but also you know to help me with my suicidal thoughts every day I'm trying to work on myself I'm trying to do meditation I'm trying to become the best version of myself for myself and I'm trying to learn to love myself for who I am and learn to relive and be comfortable with being alone, which is something that has been challenging for me since I've had, you know, so I've had a big family around me growing up and I left and I met my ex-fiance and had children. So I've never actually been, been alone and learning to be alone now is hard, but I think it's the best for my healing and growth, as I said, and it's best for my safety. And it's also best for eventually when I have my children back to protect them, you know, and for them to grow up the way I want them to grow up and the way my ex-fiance wants them to grow up. So this video was not easy to shoot. It's been hard, but I'm happy I did it. I felt like I needed to shoot this video to kind of bring you up to scratch with where I am. I did shoot a vlog a few days ago, so I will be uploading that this Sunday. I'm gonna upload Wednesday and Sunday from now on, guys. So you'll see this Sunday, I shot a vlog. My hair was different because I shot that kind of just to help me kind of do something with the day. I've been taking on new hobbies since this breakup. I've been going back to boxing. I've been rock climbing, been going to yoga classes. As I said, guys, I want to become a monk. I'm gonna be staying at a Buddha monastery retreat this month for two weeks, which I'm excited about as well I'm going to dedicate my life to becoming a monk I think is where I want to head to because I want to learn how to not have envy how to have hate how to have judgment how to have jealousy you know how to have ego I want to get rid of all these things and be a pure peaceful minded person which I feel like I'm already on the path to I feel like since this whole breakup has kind of made me have growth that I never had in my life and that's why I'm thinking that's why I'm having more of a positive outlook on this breakup yes it's been tough it sucks and every day feels like I live in hell but I'm taking more positives out of each thing every single day bit by bit and I'm trying to look at more sense of it's gave me a time and it's gave me permission to love myself to focus on myself to focus on things that make me feel most alive and make me feel like my true self and it's helping me put the work in to build these foundations up of being a strong being a strong person and being a mindful person and being mindful with my actions my responses my my surroundings my my opportunities that i take on my choices that i choose to do and my values this whole breakup has helped me understand my values values in which is i was putting all of my entire values on somebody else and when that relationship broke up I then lost all my values, but that's not how it should be. Your values are always in you and they're always with you, no matter what. And I think that that's one thing that's been hard for myself as well since the breakup is that I felt like I lost my value after my ex broke up with me because I put all of my values in that one relationship, which was dangerous for me, as I said, because when it ended, I felt like I had no meaning and lost all my values. So now I'm working to rebuild my values within myself and understand that my values are forever with me and we forever have our values in us. And our values don't have to match other people's values. And if they disrespect them, then as I said, you know, they're not the people that you need around you in your life. You need people that bring you up, not down, and people that, people that make you feel comfortable and make you feel safe and make you feel like you have a connection with around you. And if they don't have that, then and they're not the people for you which is hence why I've chose to be alone and focus on my healing thank you for watching this video guys I know it's been a long video it's been an emotional video to make it's been lots of cutting I know because you know crying is something that has been helping me express my emotions it's sad for me right now but as I said I'm taking more positives and I don't want to do this video to make people feel sorry for me I just want to do this video to update you guys on where I am in my life and where I'm going towards and where I'm focusing on and this is currently my reality it's hard I have two children that I can't see right now. I have an ex-partner that I still love, that still sucks and it still feels so painful to accept that I am not with her. And it's hard to let go when you feel like that person was your person. But, you know, I'm learning now to live without that person and I'm learning to live this new life. And I want to film it and film my healing journey and film where this life goes, you know. I have big plans on myself this year and I'm just putting 
pure focus onto myself and fighting for my children. I've put in my full time into my business again, which is, you know, doing even better than it ever was. And for those of you guys who don't know what I do, I actually run my own video production company. I'm adding small things to my life each day to help me kind of have a new sort of direction in my life. And I'm taking on new hobbies as well to help me learn new things about myself. So, yeah, this video has been an update video. I'm going to be uploading loads more videos on my channel. I just want to say to start with, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And I want to say for those people who still sat here and listened all the way through, thank you so much. You're a true BSF Army member. And, yeah, as I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to be uploading. I'm just going to be filming so many raw things. I've got a video that's going to be going up after this where my hair's different. But as I said, I shot that a few weeks ago. It was just a rock climbing video that was quite exciting for me. It was interesting of me, so I want to upload it because it was a new film, my first time doing rock climbing. I'm gonna finish this video here, guys. If you have enjoyed it, you know what to do. Smash it with a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet and joined the BU fam, make sure you smash the subscribe button down below. Just don't forget to be yourself, guys, because you're all beautiful, you're all amazing, you're one of a kind. Be you, and I'll see you in the next video.